We are in Asheville at the Harris Cherokee Center, uh, formerly the Asheville Civic Center, which is home to a bevy of wrestling events, uh, WCW Fall Brawl, a bunch of different WCW events. But before that, it was home to a bunch of Mid-Atlantic Championship wrestling events, uh, specifically Jim Crockett Promotions. So while we're here, let's talk about Jim Crockett Promotions. Jim Crockett Sr. promoted a bevy of events in the North Carolina area, specifically boxing and more importantly pro wrestling. He found pro wrestling to be more lucrative and with the burgeoning NWA, he founded Jim Crockett Promotions. It was mainly a tag team promotion and it was always very lucrative, especially given the location. But as Jim Crockett Sr. passed away and as television started creeping into more pro wrestling promotions, uh, it found its foothold and really blew up in the late 70s and early 80s. Jim Crockett Promotions really blew up when Ric Flair became the NWA Heavyweight Champion because everyone was calling Jim Crockett Promotions to get Ric Flair to their territory. Plus, you also had a bevy of other stars that blew up around that same time, like Magnum TA, Dusty Rhodes, the entirety of the Four Horsemen. So they blew up from there, and they were popular because of their main event, Stargate, which was one of the early pay-per-view kind of events that was ever in wrestling. But as the years went on and as WWF became bigger and bigger, gaining different stars and getting the television of all these different places, Jim Crockett Promotions was the last vestige of the territories and couldn't really survive. So they had to nationally expand and became World Championship Wrestling, thus the death of Jim Crockett Promotions. Mm -hmm. 